Hey peeps, welcome back. If you hate mealybugs as much as I do, then this video is for you. <laughs> I got this plant. This is a Rex begonia. The variety is Silver Limbo. Um, I have a bunch of these already, uh, a lot of propagations going, but I saw this plant, it was the only one there, and it was, I don't wanna say infested with mealybugs, but it had some mealybugs on it, okay? So what I wanted to show you is how I deal with the mealybug issue. Now, I don't like to use, um, you know, chemicals that are like pesticides, for example. I don't like to do that. I don't want anything that's potentially harmful to myself or others or even animals, even though I don't have any animals here at this point. Um, but I just want to show you the, the methods that I use to kind of keep them under control. Um, <clears throat> if I need to quarantine a plant because it comes in with some mealybugs, which happens all the time. I mean, things happen, you know what I mean? A lot of times they, they hide in the leaf axles or, you know, underneath some dead leaves or on the body. You, you can't even see them half the time. So I can't fault anybody for sending me something that has, you know, a bug or two on it. If it's infested and it's obvious, then I'm like, all right, you know, you gotta, you gotta be more careful. But, um, anyway... See if I can find any. What I did was I took this plant um, and I just slapped in a wick and I put it into one of these cups just so that I can keep the uh, moisture in the soil uh, consistent. One thing about the soil, it is not very good soil. Okay, you can see I don't see one piece of perlite in here. But it's a small enough pot and it's an old enough plant. You can see these rhizomes are pretty big. So that it's, it's an old plant. It's not like it's, you know, like a, a newly propagated plant. So it's going to drink up the moisture relatively quickly. Um, I'm not going to repot this right now because I'm going to do one thing at a time. And first thing I'm going to do is address the mealybug issue. So let's see if I can find some mealybugs um, to see if I can point anything out to you. So you can see, I'm not sure if that's one in there. Um, let me see. Mealy bugs, where are you? I mean, I already started treating this, but I said, let me do a video on this because it's very common. You know, mealy bugs are common indoor pests. Oh, it looks like that might be one there. See that white spot in there? Let's see if I can get my thumb in there. Right in there. That looks like it might be a mealy bug. Um, it's not focusing very well, but that white spot looks like a mealy bug. Okay. What I typically do, let me keep my uh, camera on there, let me focus a little bit better. What I typically do is I take my handy dandy 70% uh, isopropyl alcohol, okay? They also sell in a lot of these, um, a lot of these stores like CVS, Walgreens, Rite Aid, all those places, um, they also sell a, like a 95% uh, concentration, which I wouldn't use on plants unless you dilute it because it's pretty strong. You know what I mean? It's strong for me if I'm like sanitizing my hands because I use isopropyl alcohol all the time to, to sanitize my hands, my workspace, my tools for the plants, everything like that. Uh, oh, I think I just found another one. Let me see. Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm, the camera's like a little crazy. Is that one? Let me see. Oh, no. That's just a scar. Never mind. I thought that was one. Um, so, yeah. Isopropyl alcohol. The 70% one is best. I put in a little spray bottle. As you can see. And what I do is I begin... I think I found another one in there. I'm not sure. I, I start to spray the areas that I see them on to start. So let's go in here. I want, ah, oh, this focus on this camera is horrible. Okay, you can see that in there, that white spot. Now watch what happens when I spray it. It will turn dark, okay? Okay, now you can't even see it. That's how I know it is completely covered in the alcohol, okay? Now, 
I usually would look up, oh, wait, wait, is this one here? I think I see one, see the white thing right there? Oh, the focus is bad. That looks like a mealybug in there. That white spot right in the center. So what I'm gonna do is take my spray and I'm gonna spray right on it. You can see it changed from the white that it was. It's still white when you put the light on it in there, but it gets darker. Let me spray it again. Okay, that one is covered in alcohol now. So anything that's visible that I see when I'm examining my new plant, I will spray. <clears throat> Once I tackle everything that I definitely can see is a mealybug, then I just begin to spray the undersides of all the leaves. I start out with the undersides. Camera's not focusing today for some reason. That is weird. There we go. Undersides of all the leaves. Okay. Like so. I spray everything, everything, everything. Okay. Once I'm done with the undersides, I do the rhizomes all the way down to the soil level. Okay. I go all the way down to the soil. Surprisingly, it doesn't really affect the plant in a bad way. Um, if you were to keep them drenched in alcohol, then yeah, they dry up, they crisp up. Um, but this plant came in with crispy leaves. You can see it was not, it was probably uh, going to be discounted. It was on a discounted bench, but it hadn't been discounted yet. So there's damage to the leaves, as you can see. Um, it had the bugs. This one is not doing well either. This one's old. It's not an ideal plant for somebody to buy, but of course, for me, <laughs> I rescue all of the sick plants, always. So, so yeah, I spray the undersides of the leaves, and now I spray all the tops of the leaves. Okay, make sure the entire plant has been drenched. I'm sorry guys, I'm trying to do both things at the same time, hold the camera and spray. Okay. So the whole plant is drenched. Now that's it for today. I'm not going to continue spraying this plant all day long. It'll definitely cause a problem for any of the healthy leaves that it does have. Um, but I will do this every day. I'll do this every day for about three days. At the three day mark, I then go in before I spray anything and I look and I see, is there any, are there any bugs that are that seem to be alive. You'll probably find some white spots that are the dead bugs in their waxy coating because even when they're dead, their coating of, it's like this waxy white secretion that they have, it'll stay on the plant. But you could just wipe it off with a Q-tip or something. As long as the actual insect is dead, I know that I won't have to continue treating. Now, with an infestation like this, Obviously, I'll do the three days. After the third day, when it dries up the next day, probably the fourth day, I will check and see. At that point, I will continue to spray them down in general. Top of the leaves, bottom of the leaves, rhizomes, soil, okay? Because there are mealybugs, as you probably know, because I know you guys are plant people, that are soil mealybugs. So they, the root mealybugs, they live in, under the soil on the roots. So I definitely spray the tops of the leaves, the bottom of the leaves, the rhizomes, and the soil level, okay? So I'll continue to do that. If I see nothing, I'll continue to do that probably once or twice a week, just to be sure. The alcohol doesn't hurt the plants as long as you're not doing it all the time and keeping the plant completely drenched. And it disinfects everything, and uh, yeah, so. That is how I handle the mealybug situation. And let me tell you, plants are constantly coming into me with mealybugs. They're not infested with mealybugs, but one or two that you see, if you see one or two of them, you know that there's a whole bunch more. You just don't see them. And they multiply so quickly. And if, they're, if your plant is touching another plant, it's gonna travel. And I've even seen them walking on the lip of the pot. So I know that they, don't necessarily only stay on the plants, they're looking for more food, okay? So uh, <clears throat> it's something that we all have to deal with at some point, I'm sure, but um, just plain old 70% isopropyl alcohol does the trick. Um, again, I, I stick with my three-day treatment, fourth-day check, 
and then once or twice a week um, moving forward. If you find some on the fourth day, then I continue with the daily treatment, once a day only. And it's probably better if you do it in the morning. This way it has the rest of the day to dry up and it won't be like overnight in humidity keeping that alcohol on the leaves. So I definitely think um, morning or at least daytime is the best time to treat the plants. Um, once you don't see anything anymore, then the once or twice a week for about a month is all you need to do. Just It's like an inoculation just to make sure that any eggs that may have hatched that weren't hit with the alcohol, um, you get those new babies so that you don't have that problem spiral out of control. But yeah, that, so that's how I handle my mealybug situation. And with the, you know, two to 300 plus plants that I have in my grow space, um, it definitely, it would be a lot worse if I didn't do this. Let's just put it that way. Um, and Rex begonias, they seem to be very prone to mealybugs. That's the only issue I've had. Some people have spider mites, some people have thrips. I've only had um, mealybugs on my begonias, whether it's Rex, other rhizominous, cane, or any other. So yeah, if you have any questions on any other methods, I know that there's also um, people mix dish soap with water, with alcohol. That works too, I've tried that. It's just, um, if you don't do the percentages right and you have a little too much dish soap, you can damage some of the leaves because then they can't breathe. Um, I find that the alcohol alone, even though it's more than a one-time treatment, it's easier for me, it works for me, and uh, it takes care of the problem you know, relatively quickly. But uh, I like the fact that it evaporates and nothing stays on the leaves. But those little bugs, they do not like to be covered in alcohol. They, within minutes, they will die. Sometimes even within seconds. Anyway, if you have any questions about mealybugs or Rex begonias or anything like that, um, or what I'm going to do with this plant, because I'm going to be removing, once I get rid of all the bugs and I know that it's clean, I'm going to remove all of these leaves, these damaged leaves, and I'm going to propagate them because I'm not gonna let them go to waste. Why would I do that? Um, <clears throat> uh, yeah, like this one here. This is a beautiful leaf. I'll probably cut this in half, propagate this to half, and propagate the stem half. Anyway, I love these plants. But yeah, if you have any questions on anything Rex, Begonia, or Begonia in general, or Mealybug, uh, because I've dealt with this on all different types of plants, and I treat them all the same way with the alcohol. Just reach out, of course. As usual, don't forget to like, to comment, to share, and to subscribe. Hit that bell if you want to be notified. And I will see you in the next video.